Hey guys, hope you guys enjoy UK Top Gear because number one, it's based plus it's this is on it. So, um, and also I got a tooth removed today. So sorry if I'm a bit lispy, um, but let's get straight into the video. How would Top Gear fare in 40k in a special episode from Ultramar de Terra? Scene. The studio. Crowd stands amongst wrecked vehicles. Clarkson narrated. Tonight on Top Gear, I fall in a hole. <laughs> Clip of Jeremy Clarkson stumbling backwards into his shell hole. May makes a friend. Candid zoomed in shot of James May and an Eldar agreeing the olden days were better. <laughs> And Hammond says hi to a space marine. A clip of Richard Hammond looking up at a huge Astartes and nervously saying, Hi. <laughs> and welcome to the road trip special. Scene. Deserted car park in hills of Ultramar. Light rain. May arrives in a chimera. May narrates. I was the first to arrive. In a chimera armoured transport. This amazing machine is great all round. It's dependable. And it's the best friend of every lucky infantryman. And it only cost me £14,000, which leaves me with £6,000 to play with. The auto cannon is a bit unusual and it's got a few issues with it, and apparently the tracks and bearings need some work. But other than that, I've been assured it's in mint condition. Oh, perfect timing. The gorilla's here. Clarkson arrives in a very suspicious looking Land Raider. Behold! <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. I Behold. fucking love this. <laughs> the Land Raider. It's got speed and power for days. Unlike that wimpy thing you're in. I could eat that for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> May picks at the paint. Is that an orc marking under there? Indeed it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> no, he didn't. This thing got looted on Pernaris 3 a few years back and recently got fined after some raids. We saved it from the scrap heap because apparently there's a few orcs that do you know their stuff? Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Clarkson opens engine compartment. What in the blazes is that? That, James, is a V64 engine. <laughs> you normally find these monsters on ships, but somehow they managed to get it into this thing. About half of the entire vehicle is taken up by an engine. And oh boy, does it have power. These smart Xenos also fitted it with a pair of giant shooters and all kinds of goodies. Do they work? The shooters? No. <laughs> Every Top Gear episode ever made. <laughs> Has the engine got a laundry list of mechanical issues? Yes. Has this blatant tech heresy been approved by the Mechanicus? No, but we've got a few bits of Arcu tech in the back to bribe any nosy tech priest with it. Cut that bit out. Anyways, yours. Could you have picked a more boring vehicle? Yes, I could, and I could also have picked a more ridiculous one. Look at yours. How much did that monstrosity cost? 23,000. <laughs> you mean you spent 3,000 of your own money to buy that duff old thing that's probably either blown itself up or get us all shot? Yes. Oh, and the driver's seat is bare metal too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Clarkson pokes at Chimera. Didn't you say it needed some track work? These things are more rust than metal. You try and go more than walking pace and they're going to fall off faster than a drunk Hammond on a rodeo grox. Does that cannon work? Unlike yours? It does. May appear several seconds later at the hatch. Behold, the power of the Burt. Burt. <laughs> cannon fires about a dozen shots. Is that it? Any more and it overheats horribly and the ammunition starts to cook off. What? <laughs> Why? Why is this every episode? Why does it always happen to James? It's like, oh yeah, no, I bought the smart, reliable one. And then, like, you know, when you actually put it to the test, it's like, yeah, this, you, you bought a piece of shit. And it only goes like five mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, May, and you say mine is a death trap? Because it is. And how the blazes are you going to fuel that massive engine of yours? Clarkson narrates. Fortunately, his probing was interrupted by the arrival of a very strange vehicle. He didn't. Oh, he did. Hammond flies through the gate in a land speeder, fails to slow down Philly and scrapes May's vehicle. You pillock! We haven't even got going yet and you're already crashing your bloody vehicle. Hammond pulls up, now in control. <laughs> Bet you ain't seen one of these before. This, ladies, is the beauty of a land speeder. It will leave you in the dust, and since I'm not allowed to use a helicopter, I settled for <laughs> bending the vehicle rules a bit. I'm going to assume that's a reference to Hammond near killing himself. Himself in the rocket? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're done crashing into me, can you explain your ridiculous choice? 
Clarkson whispers to May. Is that allowed? May whispers to Clarkson. Unfortunately, I think it is. What are you two talking about? Does this magnificent vehicle not faze you? Hammond, Hammond, Hammond. You're in a land speeder. Where the hell did you get this for 20 grand? Hammond jumps down. 19 actually. And I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I think the reason that rogue trader was selling it so cheap was the slight chaotic corruption. Oh, for fuck's sake. It seems okay, even if the machine spirit screams at me most of the time. Actually, it's kind of annoying. It was also kind of hot property, since she didn't want the warband on her. We also had to remove the weaponry for safety reasons. Uh, cut that bit out. Anyways, speaking of machine spirits, how's yours in that abomination? Mine? It's got rather an inclination to charge at the nearest enemy. I had to beat the Cogigator into submission with a hammer before it would acknowledge me as the boss. <laughs> that sounds perfectly accurate, if I'm being yeah. honest with you. I keep it on hand whenever it gets uppity. I'd quite like to have a look at yours. Do you think you could lower it down for us? Hammond looks up at Speeder floating in air. Um, that might be an issue. Clarkson and Meg goff. Need a bigger ladder there, Hammond? Bugger off. Can I climb on top of yours quickly? Several minutes later. I'll be blown. I can't see an obvious mechanical problem with this thing. May utters to Clarkson. Just you wait for something to go wrong later. It has to. There's no way this thing is legit. Hammond de May. Am I the only one in an actual good vehicle here? Clarkson's in an abomination and you're in something you'd see just about everywhere you went. What do you mean an abomination? This is a magnificent machine with no issues whatsoever. And unlike you two morons, I've actually tried to do something practical. You mean boring and generic? I bet it's ex Praetorian. There's no way you get anything without a team maker. Let's have a look inside. Hammond looks inside the Chimera. Bloody hell, that's a lot of rust. I've seen that automator too. It's not pretty. You may as well have driven that all the way from Terra. May narrates. Unfortunately, my retort was rather rudely interrupted by an arrival of a strange man. Oh, hello. Who's this? Ultramar Auxilia walks up with a challenge card and hands it to Clarkson. Clarkson, reading. Now you three are done arguing, it's time to set off. You will board the vessel Lithonia for your road trip to Holy Terra. What? Wait, there's more. On the way, you will stop at several important locations to complete a series of challenges. Oh no. Well, this will be a fantastic trip, I'm sure. Let's go. Trio leaves for the spaceport. Scene. Clarkson's tank en route to spaceport heavy rain. Normally when orcs get their hands on things, they completely butcher them. Not this, though. What they've done here is quite successfully, give it a massive engine that makes it better. This monster has over 4,000 horsepower lurking down there, and you can feel it through the vehicle. Really, it's a miracle it hasn't turned its crankshaft into a cheese twist. Gears scrape and crunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, though, it does sound really cool. I would, like, if there was one wish I could have, like, you know, can I just ride with, like, you know, with an orc someday? Can I can I, can I, just hop in the side and hopefully my face doesn't melt off going at supersonic speeds and we explode on impact, you yeah. know? Has a bit of trouble in the old gearbox, though. Also, a lot of stuff in here is designed for orcs, and I feel a bit small for once. The guns also don't work unless you're shouting WAG and believe they should. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> oh, and they even added a window you have to wind down yourself for air. But for all its flaws, it's still a magnificent and truly unique beast. Unlike the cookie cutter APC James has, or that ridiculous mosquito of Hammond's. I bet he's having a miserable time in all this rain too. Sing, Hammond's cockpit. Hammond struggles to be heard over the noise and engine whine. <laughs> it's a beautiful bird, this! <laughs> While those two are stuck on the ground, I can zip around above them and literally run rings. Or I, I would if I weren't in a city with the best traffic rosers in the galaxy. In fact, I don't have to worry about anything in the ground at all. So long as it's not taller than about 20 feet or shooting at us. Bit drafty, though. Hammond avoids a traffic gantry and swerves. It's a bit hard to control too. I see why these things are often given to marines and why the Eldar use them so well. I snuck in some training before we left, but I'm not sure even the Stig could handle this at top speed. Which, 
Incidentally, is higher than the monstrosity down there. Hammond talks briefly about the jet bike specs. Sing, May's tank. While the others have gone loud and fancy, I've gone practical. You see, May talks at length about the Chimera's history and is eventually cut off. <laughs> hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human biddies. We got lizard biddies. We got orc biddies. Oni biddies. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Scene. Lithonia VIP lounge. Clarkson and May are talking. Hammond is absent. Clarkson is reading the Imperial Times and May has a glass of Asimek. Right, I've been snipping a bit and I think I know where we're going first. It's a little world called Bad Landing that was nabbed by orcs before even you were born. And it's in the process of being retaken recently. They're sending us into a war zone now? Everywhere's a war zone these days. Now, I don't know what they want us to do there, but there's going to be a lot of green jobs around. Hammond's going to have a right miserable time there, isn't he? He's a rickety, glorified jetpack. That's right, and I have an idea about how to make him even more miserable. His arrogance is getting on my nerves. Oh, do tell. Clarkson whispers to May conspiratorially. Sing, vehicle bay of the Lithonia, ship board night hours. Lights are dim, Clarkson and May are visible as creeping silhouettes. Clarkson whispering, and here it is. You bring the widget? May whispering. Here you go. Sounds of quietly clanking metal. Stiffing and screws are heard. And that should do it. Looks all in place to me. All right, let's set the frequency to 20.4. Let's give it a test. See how good we can mess with him. Jet bike is quietly started up. Effects are not seen. Yes, perfect. Now let's get out of here. Clarkson and May sneak away, sniggering. Seen. Surface of bad landing. Close to front lines, sunny afternoon, sounds of battle can be heard some miles away. Ground is churned mud. Lovely place, isn't it? I knew I should have packed a picnic basket. Clarkson threw binoculars. I know. Glad we're not up there. Who's this bloke? Imperial Guardsman hands Hammond a challenge card. Hammond reading. You've arrived on the war world of Bad Landing. This place is overrun with orcs, even behind the front lines. Your task is to find and kill as many as you can within your designated areas in four hours, using only your vehicles and their weapons. You will be provided with gunners for this role. Sounds simple enough. To Hammond. Oh, does someone not have a weapon? Shut up, I know it got disarmed. You're going to have to go get a gun and do it the old-fashioned way. Shut up. Well, you know what they say, Hammond. See you later. <laughs> Clarkson and May drive off. Hammond goes in search of a weapon. Scene. May's IFE. May is driving up a hill. Several orcs are visible in the distance. Ah, our first customers. Let's see if we can get a bit closer before they notice us. Orcs turn around and brandish shit us. Well, that didn't take long. Gunner, open fire. Show these scallywags who's the boss. Auto cannon open fires, quickly killing two before catching fire. Stop, 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 bugger. Forgot the blasted cooling was busted. <laughs> May blasts the burning patch with an extinguisher as orcs open fire and charge. All right, it's stopped glowing. I think we can try again now. Short bursts. Remaining orcs are killed by short burst gunfire. Excellent. Sometimes you can't beat a good autocannon. IFE strikes a rock, causing a shower of shit and rust to rain on May. Ah, Same. Clarkson's monstrosity. Clarkson is shooting at and driving over orcs. <laughs> ah, wow, yeez power, wow. <laughs> this feels good. This is what this thing was born to do. It's a bit ironic, really, that it was the orcs who made these very modifications, and it's a bit of a Franken tank. I shall call it Tankenstein. All the shouting is going to do my throat in soon, though. Tyke enters a small, steep-sided hollow. In this situation, James would be stuck. We, however, have plenty of what we need to get out of here. Power! 
A loud squealing noise animates from below the tank and stops. This gob... No way, he doesn't have gobbles in there. Oh, bleep, bleep. Please, not right now. Clarkson to May. James, are you nearby? May to Clarkson. I'm miles away. Sorry. I wonder how Hammond is getting on. Scene. Hammond's cockpit. Hammond has strapped two heavy stubbers to his land speeder. Look who's back. I blagged some guns of the guard and fixed them on. They might have better guns. But now here's where I think I have an advantage over them. Since I can spot and reach orcs way faster than they can, I'm not out of the game yet. Scene. May's IFE. May to Clarkson. He sounds happy. Shall we annoy him a bit? Clarkson to May. Commence Operation Roller Coaster. James presses a button on a remote. Repulsion motors flicker and the speeder briefly drops. Clarkson to May. Hear that? Sounds like a screaming Hammond. Both laugh hysterically. Cut to later. Scene. Starting ground. So, how did we all do? I got a total of 23. Slow and steady wins the race. Hammond? Four. Clarkson and May laugh. Four? Well, as it turns out, it's bloody hard to hit anything when you're in the air, moving at speed and trying to avoid a hail of bullets, weapons and grots all at the same time. Excuses, excuses. Well, how many did you score? Seven. Only seven? That noise I heard. It was the drive train tearing itself to pieces. Look. Clarkson hefts a very thick, twisted steel rod. Blimey, you really did a number on that. Too much power, perhaps? Nonsense, the tech priest is still working on it and crying. Anyway, not being able to move somewhat hampers your ability to move and shoot. Hammond, mockingly. Excuses, excuses. Anyway, I want to borrow the tech priest when you're done. I don't want the grav drive crapping out of me again. Who's this? Another guardsman hands May a challenge card. May, reading. Now you're finished showing yourself up to the orcs. Rude. You will next be sent to the resort world of Prista. You will receive further instructions once there. Well, that's a bit cryptic. Does anyone remember the Vox number for the shuttle? Uh. Scene. A beach on Pristina. Late morning. Sunny. The trio are relaxing next to their vehicle. Do we have to do a challenge? I like it here. It seems we do, because it's here already. A gloved butler hands Hammond a challenge card. Hammond, reading. Welcome to Prista, one of the finest resort worlds in Atharax sector. Yeah, we can tell. Unfortunately, three nobles got misplaced, and there aren't any shuttles available. You'll be their chauffeurs to take them to the resort of Anok, some 300 miles away off-road. The faster you get there, and less of the trip they spend whining, the more points you will get. It's only nobles. How bad can it be? Small jump cut. Nobles attempt to board vehicles. Clarkson. I'm sorry, but you'll have to climb in the top hatch. Back door's blocked by the engine. Don't mind the gubbins everywhere. It's just how it's supposed to look. <laughs> no, that's not an orc mark. May. Welcome, madame. Please make yourself comfortable. Strap yourself in and secure all those items. It may get a tad bumpy. Please don't attempt to make a cup of tea with the boiling vessel while we're on the move. Hammond. Good morning. And you're going to be the one flying? We'll get there in no time. Oh, uh, uh here's a helmet. Insect stings at these speeds, you know. May narrates. Looking at the map, we had a lot of ground to cover. 300 tough miles of grassland, forest, rivers and hills to cross before nightfall. Our vehicles were probably, more than capable of doing it. It was just a matter of keeping our passengers happy. Scene. Clarkson's tank. Clarkson narrates. This is what the Tankenstein was born for. Bombing around off-road and not giving a beep <laughs> about what's in its way. We were gliding over the dirt. Ha <laughs> ha! Speed! <laughs> Noble is sitting next to Clarkson, generally looking terrified. See? Even he's speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Forest looms into view. Ah, we'll have to go around. No way that track's wide enough for us. Do I smell burning? Jeremy stops to allow the overheating engine to cool. Tank follows a track around the edge of the forest to a river crossing. Are you done putting stuff in our way? That bridge doesn't look like it would take the weight of a squat, let alone an 80-ton modified tank. We'll have to ford it. 
Tank slowly drives into the water. Ah, it's deep, it's deep. The water's coming in. Clarkson narrates. Still, could be worse. Scene. May's IFE. It has started to rain heavily. A crash is followed by a bone-shaking impact as boots and tools fly around. Every impact causes dirt and rust to shower off the ceiling. Ah! Crash! Ow! Crash! Ah! Crash! Are you all right back there, milady? A range of ignoble screams and curses come back. I'll take that as a no then. Zoomed out shot showing the chimera bouncing over rough terrain. Another crash and yell is heard. May narrates. Still, could be worse. Scene. Hammond's cockpit. Hammond and the noble are soaked. <laughs> Hammond is miserable and stopped above a forest trying to read a map. We're lost. Thunder rumbles overhead. I don't suppose it can get much worse. A sudden gust of wind snatches them up. Yes. Yes, it can. Camera zooms out. No! <laughs> <laughs> Scene. Clarkson's tank. Look, lights. I wonder where those two bloody idiots are. Clarkson clanks up the hotel driveway, sees James standing in front of his chimera, making the loser sign. Many of his tread slats are missing. Oh no, look how smug he is. Clarkson dismounts his steaming hot tank and squelches over. Noble runs for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did your passenger enjoy the trip? Mine didn't run off like that. From how you're standing, I think you crippled them too much to run. Yes, uh, she was a tad bruised. From the looks on your cheek, I think she gave you a bruise of your own. Anyway, it's getting dark. Well, where's Hammond? I don't know. Shall we go for a drink? Clarkson and May walk off to the bar. Scene. Hammond's cockpit. Pouring with rain and dark. Noble is complaining about being tired and wet. I'm sure we're going the right way now. I recognise the silhouette of that landmark earlier. Uh... Any second now and we'll see the lights. Slowly fade to black. <laughs> Scene. Hotel bar. Clarkson and May are drinking wine at a table late night. I tell you what, they have excellent alcohol in this planet. Indeed. Poshus have good taste. I don't think our guests today enjoyed it as much as we did. Who hated it the most? Mine or yours? Hammond's. He's still not even here yet. Speak of the devil. Hammond walks in, sopping wet and bedraggled. Look who the feeling had dragged in. Have a good trip, did we? Hammond glares at him and sits down. No. Clarkson Vox beeps. Oh look, it's a message from the producers. Clarkson reading. <clears throat> we had to pull a lot of strings to not get you all arrested for your antics. What ungrateful people. Your next destination is a hive world of Sly, where you shall undertake a challenge of speed. Hammond groans and buries his head. Of all the places... They choose to send us to Sly. Why couldn't the orcs have bombed it when they had a chance? Well, gentlemen, we better get some sleep. The ship leaves early tomorrow. Hammond watches them leave and smirk. Sing. Hotel car park. Dawn. Mostly clear. Clarkson and May go to climb into their vehicle. Hammond. Hold up, you two. What? Last night I went down to the night market and got you two some presents. Oh, no. Hammond produces a glass 125 scale Land Raider model. For you, Jeremy. Hammond staggers around the corner with a person sized marble statue of a woman. <laughs> and for you, James. Clarkson attempts to wrap the model in a thick layer of cushions. Scene. Streets of Anok. Sunny. Trio are driving together to Spaceport. Shot of Clarkson driving wordlessly with a clump of cushion the size of a beach ball behind him. Shot of May driving with a flask of tea. Then exterior shot with a statue lashed to roof upright. <laughs> what a twat. Betty thinks he's funny too. So look, guys, we're about halfway. We're pretty much bang on halfway. Yeah. Part two will be out early either tomorrow or next week. I don't really know. Either tomorrow or what well, won't be Saturday because it's Jamesy's boy's birthday. Yes. Um. So it'll either be out tomorrow or Maybe Monday. Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Sunday, Monday. Well, we'll find out. Either way, it's so good. It's I love so this. Good. It's you so know, funny. we were. I, I got this a long time ago, but I'm getting confused because 
<laughs> she can't. The voice, it sounds, but the thing is, whenever I was reading it, I was reading it in. In their voices. <laughs> and honestly, if you if you guys are watching this going, what is this? Who are these people? What is your life? I mean, go watch I don't G- even mm-hmm. like cars, but I fucking mm, love, love Top, Top Gear. Gear. Although it's not. It's not as good anymore whenever yeah, they left. Whenever they moved to Amazon. Clarkson, May and Hammond, it it's peak. is peak. Peak. Yeah. peak. Comedy at I love its finest. It. But yeah, look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one because part two is coming very soon. If you enjoy Top Gear or if you enjoy 40k or any of that shit, mm-hmm. or you know people that are into that shit, share, click, it. share like Give the video. It helps us out a lot. Maybe even leave a comment because it does help the whole YouTube algorithm and all yeah. that jazz. Check out the links as well. Check out the models, the subclasses, the t shirts, all we'll that good, good shit. shit. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>